There is a buzzing of excitement at Chittenango High School this year. A new course is helping students enter the technology industry. News Channel Line's Lindsay Rachel shows us how students are working towards becoming certified drone pilots. Three, two, one, go! Taking flight there in a go. new STEAM center. Oh, nice move. These students make it look easy, but take it from me, it's a skill that requires practice. It's been kind of fun for me to see the growth in that because some of the kids literally could not work the controls the first day and now they're zooming around the room like nothing. It's more than just swerving in, around, up, and down. A lot more that goes into flying the drone. Like before you take it off, you're supposed to do a whole slew of things. Yeah, not a lot of people realize that. They take the whole drone pilot thing serious. They really want us yeah. to be able to know stuff about piloting. So that's, that's a big part of the course. They're learning rules and regulations, where they can fly and where they can't. Knowing how to read a weather report is important, so is knowing how to register a drone. The course itself is designed to teach the kids both the flying skills and enough information to pass the FAA Part 107 exam. A 60-question test that will determine if someone knows how to safely operate a drone. And this gives the kids an opportunity to walk out of here with an actual license to fly drones commercially. A bonus payload to a future point of interest for these seniors. I'm considering going to technology myself for a job, so taking this class really helps me to get some background in different technologies and drones, because especially they are going to be a big deal here soon with delivering packages or even agriculture too. An up-and-coming industry within their immediate line of sight. Oh, 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 oh! And there you go, you're a drone pilot. <laughs> in Chittenango, Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9.